俺みたいなタバコスパスパがそばにいるとやっぱまずいんだろ Hi, welcome back to another episode of Kinkoi. Yes, I totally did just record this episode the same day that I recorded the previous one, so yeah, still here. Anyways, welcome back. If you did not see the previous episode, watch it, please. Thank you. And if you're new, welcome. Anyways, let's get straight into this video. そんなの気にしなくていいのね。ほら、こっちに来てそうまくん。隠れてた分愛のスリスリを受けてもらうわよ。いや、あの。大好きよ、そうまくん。It <laughs> was さっきどのなんで撮った今わかんねえで売れそうだなとさあまくんやわらかいいい匂いいい匂いじゃねえだろ矢に臭くてていうかちょっコーラ変なとこ触ってねうんってなんでてめえは黙って見てるんだよ<
She gave a less than pleased scowl after other san said something to her. <笑>あの そうなのじゃあごめんなさいレナ言えないわ。ん?もし聞けんばでは、ここでこの話題は避けますが。お話がありません。シルビー様立っての希望で後でお時間をお願いします。ご本人直撃は受け付けてねえんだけどな。特別
多分聞かされるやつが忘れてるんだがかもねでも私たちは覚えてるわはいはい<笑>一に続いて相馬くんまで私って本当に運がいいわさすがに偶然にしても怖くなる頻度です仕事の面から見れば助かりましたね龍蔵寺といらぬ接触を行わずともご本人とコンタクトが取れてしまうとはスクルー龍蔵寺ソーマくんとまた会えたのも嬉しいけどこれでいつでもマリアビショップに接触できるってことでもあるのよねほんともう最高お姉さまあらみな今日はありがとうお仕事を変わってくれていえそれより彼女昨日のことああお話は聞いたわソーマくんどなたから妹が怯えてるかもって気にしていたわ怒鳴られたのは私のミスです私のこと何と言っておりました特には私の可愛い妹だってことは伝えておいたからいつまでも尾は引かないと思うわそう触ったんですって<笑>驚いたでしょでも触れないであげてねあれはオーラにも隠していることだからあはい本当にもう一度会えてよかったもう二度と会えないって思ってたそう本人に言われてたからもう一度会えてお話できて声が聞けてよかった One more time, are you gonna die? 本当はもう二度と会えないはずだったんだから Oh? Why? Yay, silent transition again. They need to make more of those. A party on Christmas? Oh no, I pushed this down. Eh, it's in a real chicken day. Gakuen no renchu or atsumete da to sa. Oh, Hime sama ni aruko to a scale ga chiga o yo na. After school, Ryo came over to my place now that the school roof was officially blocked off. Sylvie, of course, was the one who invited her. The timing had apparently worked out perfectly to me. She was constantly busy with work, but she was able to make time today. And naturally, I wasn't opposed to offering a meeting place, which brought us to this conversation. Hmm. That's tough to answer when it's still a month off. I don't. It was Christmas, but I didn't have plans nor a girlfriend to spend it with. But you can't deny the possibility I might end up with plans in the next month, don't you think? I'm not sure I can make any promises yet, especially since there's a chance I might find someone to spend Christmas with in the upcoming month. <laughs> oh, shut up. The odds of me finding a girlfriend in the next month aren't awful. If you have a girlfriend, you will be the best location for a long-term party. Good point. But I still dislike the idea of saying, I'll go since I have no Christmas plans right now as a matter of pride. Ah, Shelby, go to the party and what kind of guest will come to the party? What? But. Hehehe. So, yeah. Huh. Sylvia was momentarily confused by Ryo's suggestion, but then she got an impish grin on her face for some reason. I guess. I know Maria Bishop will casting a dick tunnel. For real? What does it mean? I skid on a war of a conino, or a move on a hot zone. Chinamini saw my cool, a curl to yak suck stoa. I'll go. I'll definitely be there. Save a seat for me. The two of them were grinning in the oddest way for whatever reason. It bugged me somewhat, but that wasn't most important. Are you serious? I'll seriously get to see Maria live? Will she sing? Definitely, she never does chat with the audience. That was her persona. 
I knew every single program she'd appeared on, so you knew it was true if I said it. <clears throat> Although from what I'd seen of her in person, she enjoyed conversation more than you'd expect. Her laid-back personality seemed like an extension of her performance skills. Interesting. Even then, it's fine. I can't wait. Ah, I wonder if she'll remember me. I told we met the other day, didn't I? I touched her. Maria totally touched me. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> what do you mean? Of course. <laughs> huh? Sure. Clint. I held her hand. What's with this? Why are you being weird? That that's right. It was the best memory that may or may not have or may not happen in an entire lifetime. <laughs> her face. <laughs> Why are you smirking so much, Zoe? I didn't get it. Promise? Huh? In common? If I had to say, definitely not the cigarettes. You're both gorgeous? You both have extraordinary figures. Oh, I guess this one's not right. だな。うんで。てめえが今スタイル抜群を取り下げた理由を聞こうか。ちなみにシルビーは俺から見てスタイル抜群だ。さあ、さあ、さあ。さあ、さあ。さあ、さあ。さあ。さあ。さあ。さ
Huh? Oh, stop edging. They're literally edging. I'm like, yes, they're about to. No. Yes, they're. No. It's like that. It's like that. I hate that. I'm surprisingly curious, too. I love to see you say. Untan? The three of us could rattle on forever and never get sick of talking. Of course, it was the same when I was alone with Sylvia or Rhea, too. Childhood friends were a wondrous thing, even after we'd been apart for a decade. It always reminded me of how things were between us in those days. In those days. It's okay, you guys could read too, while I drink water. Still, it was strange. Every day together had been so much fun. But at the end, I felt like something horribly shocking had happened. What is it? Yay, another quiet transition. Look at that, three in a row. As we found ourselves in the 12th month of the year, winter truly felt like it had arrived. Mainly due to the temperature. Too cold. No, leave. Please. No, 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 no. Radio calisthenics were plenty rough, too. When? Are you okay? Morning, Mina-chan. Mina-chan had revealed Ryo's identity, Sylvie. Not a single part of what she'd done could be called problematic, but it was one thing that bothered me. This girl, Mina-chan, she'd been depressed ever since Ryo yelled at her. Maybe it would be best if I spoke to her today. I skipped Ryo calisthenics and had her step aside with me for a while. Ryo's not worried about what happened anymore. No, but she still yelled at her, bro. That's not cool. <laughs> Oh, you saw her? Sylvie and Rhea had gotten together without me at some point since the three of us met up. Nah, two girls getting together was fine, but it made me feel kind of lonely. I wasn't entirely sure what she meant, but her eyebrows were furrowed. What are you talking about? <laughs> What do you mean? This is all too abstract for me to wrap my head around. After a brief wry grin from Mina-chan. Oh? Not plebeian? Plebeian? Well, what? What happened to calling you plebeian like usual? かっこつけていられませんでしたわ。情けないことにこれからもできる気がしない。必ずこの自分の中の弱さが出てしまって、それを見透かされてしまうと思う。あなたは彼女の前では、かっこよく言ってください。What? Huh? Mina-chan, what are you on, bro? Mina-go? Yeah, she was acting kind of weird. I don't know, that was pretty concerning even for her. 
大人になるいい機会だわ人間誰しも訪れることだもの What is she going through though? I don't get it. <laughs> Just come out with it. Tell me, tell me what's going on here. For real, what's wrong with Rhea? I wasn't dumb enough that this point had eluded me. Mina chan was shocked by something she learned about Rhea. The only, oh, okay. The only issue was that I didn't know what that was. Sylvie coldly pushed me away and turned back to the piano. Pushed me away? That wasn't right. Well, it wasn't that she pushed me away. Sylvie just felt distant. Like she wanted to put space between us to gloss over something she so desperately wanted to tell me. ねえ、Mm. Yeah, still is. When I came back, I found Rio wearing her school uniform. She must have planned to go to the academy, which had to mean she intended to go to the roof. Unfortunately, it wasn't meant to be. <coughs> all because of a cigarette. Well, actually, the biggest issue is that you were smoking at all. Rio sat on the bed in a custom fashion. I wanted to ask. I wanted to up and ask what had scared Mina-chan, but my hesitation won out. First and foremost, I doubted she'd even tell me. Assume I would ask what startled Mina-chan so much the other day. Ryo would likely tell me to shut up, ignore me, or play it off with some joke. Secondly, I didn't want to take her off. She had gotten so angry back then, it was undoubtedly something Ryo didn't want anyone to know, so I didn't feel like I should cry. And thirdly, I was scared. I was terrified. If I found out, a relationship might never be the same. These days, I considered her my best friend. She was different from Torio, Reina, the guys in class, and even Sylvie. I felt like the girl named Soma, Ria, would slip away from me. Ichi, what Uh, nothing. She noticed I was spacing out. Ria peeked dubiously over at me. I was wondering what I should do for dinner tonight. I played it off with whatever idea I could come up with. What are you planning to have on? <laughs> Let me try again. What are you planning to have tonight? Uh, Sounds terrible. Hey now. She hit it out for a sec. She came back with several bags in her hand. I guess I know what I'm having for dinner then. That was frozen fruit for you. It was ready to go in no time flat. But fried onigiri? Are you for real? Here I wondered what earth shattering item she'd offer up, and the first thing to come out was fried onigiri of all things. I mean, sure, I doubt there's any fried onigiri that's actually all that bad. It was delicious when I gave it a taste. Crispy on the outside with an incredibly rich soy sauce aroma that ran through your nose. But it was still fried onigiri. As that thought went through my mind... Hmm. I remembered just now. I had forgotten any of the details, but I did remember that we'd eaten these at the camp. Hang on a sec. That wasn't fried onigiri. So, hango no koge da meshi. Shou yu nutte sara ni koga shite, soto gawa no koge o tekido ni otosu to umai. Ano kyampu de eta ichiban no kyokun datta wa. Haha. Charred rice. If you're going to reproduce it, 
I guess fried onigiri worked best. It was scrumptious. What a weird word. Oh, yeah. You know, we spent lots of time together without Sylvie, too. Didn't we? That was right. I met Ria, Soma, quite some time before we ever met Sylvie. It was only after Soma and I had become good friends that Sylvie get added to the mix. I did have a perverted spirit and that just showed how big of an impact she's left on me. Oh? But when I try to jog my memory, Soma's face... What? You couldn't remember her or she looked a lot different or, or what, 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 spit it out. I hate the edging and deception. No, I'm kidding. It actually makes it more interesting, but it's at the same time. But at the same time, it's like, just find out. Just tell them just this, just that, just that. Well, nah, no thanks. I'm full. I ate way too much fried onigiri while I went down the ride on memory lane. Ria tossed the leftovers in my freezer. I was happy she'd automatically arranged for a next time. <sighs> Drowsiness must have set in now that she'd eaten and Ria let out a tiny yawn. But she didn't look like she was in the mood to leave yet and flopped back down on my bed. <sighs> I don't want to do anything was written on her face. She had been acting pretty low energy all day. Want to watch another movie or something? Better just spend some quiet time together. We'd watched the movie together back in October too, but it was far chillier now than back then. We sat on the sofa with a thin sheet draped over us. You're not cold? Then... <laughs> I like this. This is nice. What do you want to watch? Okay then. What do we have? I flipped through the options. But then, I didn't have too many quiet movies on hand since I genuinely preferred more intense flicks. I had some scenery-centric ones, but Rio wouldn't go along with those. I just realized that this is like probably the first time we get like a good look on him, you know? Hmm. Uh, so that Mm. One in particular caught her interest while I was randomly scrolling through. I stopped where I was. Wait, wasn't this? Uh, why not? She said so we could go with this one. It was a French film. I had to agree that softly spoken, hard to make out French fit the peaceful movie requirement to a T. The only problem. No. Oh, they're f mm. I didn't say it. I didn't. Yeah. As far as this movie went, it wasn't actually that peaceful. The opening was peaceful while it followed the protagonist's carefree, solitary journey chasing the sights. But then midway through, the protagonist started to strip all of the women he'd ensnared. Ensnared? What do you mean? I'm sure you could piece this together, but... I'm grateful. <laughs> Yeah, I was thinking that. I was like, wait, haven't they described something like this already before? You didn't notice? It was indeed the same movie I watched with Rio before. Okay, good. The horn dog protagonist spends the star of the film screwing as many women as he can get his hands on, but then falls for the main heroine by the halfway point, who then up and dies. Okay. Well, dang. You're the one who picked it. Want to put on something else? Agreed. The movie had its lively moments, but went back to being peaceful toward the end. Better just wait for it. Yeah, I've seen this movie twice now, but all I can remember is hearing that older lady's heavy breathing. この庭取りみたいな喘ぎ方覚えてる。What?でも、セリフは全然フランス人や津軽の人って大丈夫かな。こんな言葉で意思疎通できてんのかな。You're going to upset the French people and people from Aomori. Wait, you didn't notice? I figured it out the second I first put it on. 
The footage, though. Don't you remember how the scenery looked at the start, for instance? You need a certain degree of concentration when you watch movies. Hi, hi. Ryu turned her attention back to the film and went back to relaxing. Almost like it were second nature, she snuggled up against me. The tiny side of her head plopped against my shoulder. Yeah, her introduction was pretty boring. I didn't realize this was the main heroine the first time I watched. I had no idea what this director had in mind, but I wish they directed it in a way that was a little easier to understand. Despite being the main heroine, she was introduced with the exact same direction as all the other women the protagonist had one I stands with. Uh, but maybe that's why it feels kind of different when you watch for a second time. Everything the protagonist did make it seem like he was really going to hit and quit when he came to the main heroine, but his reasoning made more sense the second time around. How strange. When you look closely, this is actually the first time this pervy protagonist hasn't stuck his tongue in. It sounds so gross, for real. Definitely. The scenes kept transitioning. Sexy time with the heroine came to a straightforward end, and then the next day, she was gone. Even as the protagonist pursued her, he was coldly avoided. That was when the protagonist lost his cool. Oh? This part kind of reminds me of how things went when I couldn't see Rio for a while. We couldn't meet up since the rooftop got locked off and it felt like our connection had been severed all too suddenly. I seemed pretty thrown off at the time too. Yeah. The reunion was well in progress on the screen. They were sharing an intense kiss. Kiss mm -hmm. As if I know, why not ask me? Oh. Nope. Shut up. I'm not mad. It wasn't that I was mad. My speech just turned to growth out of embarrassment. Since I just wondered what kisses were like at just this very moment myself. The way I imagine it, they're no big deal, I'd assume. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? Rhea's getting bold. He said, yeah. Yeah, it wasn't like they were. <laughs> You're never listening enough to go out and do it. They weren't a big deal. -ish. Okay. Rio flitted a glance over me. That's crazy. Her eyes met mine and quickly turned away. Oh, what was this adorable reaction about? Oh my god. Timidly, Rio looked my way again. I swear the sounds are gonna go crazy. Hang on a sec. Don't look at me. You stare at me with that adorable face right now. An accident? What do you mean? Chill. Might. Just happen. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. You said it. My mind went blank and I was too open to clouds to know what I might be saying. What in the world were we doing? This didn't feel like something friends were allowed to do. Stop it! All the thoughts in my mind vanished into the sensation of those comfortable lips in the next instant. They were soft, felt wonderful. I knew this was wrong, and yet. To not do this was no longer an option. Rio. Jeez. Rio was especially aggressive and rubbed her mouth forcefully against mine. I reciprocated and began pressing back. It was forceful enough that it might even crush your fragile body, but I hugged her tightly all the same. Hey, yo. Rio's hair dangled down heavily and rubbed against my cheek. It was in the way. Better brush it aside. Slide. Rush. Oh wow. She backed off out of nowhere. Rio broke free from my hand that held her and ran away from me. Um. And with that, I promptly regained my composure. What were we doing? Why did it turn out this way? 
Y'all are little horn dogs. Sure. Ryo left the room without even finishing the movie. Ah! Oh, what had I done? I went limp and slumped down onto my bed. She suggested it, bro. Ah! Oh, in the movie, the protagonist whispered lovingly into the main heroine's ear after she passed on. Just now, I was probably trying to do this, wasn't I? I had found something within me. It came as a decent shock that I had locked, looked at Rhea that way. At someone who I thought was just a friend and it left me feeling numb for the rest of the day. I couldn't chase after or patch things up with it. I didn't know how to process these feelings or verbalize what I meant for our relationship. Or even... Uh-huh. To consider what that sensation had been. Interesting. <laughs> yes. I love silent transitions. We need more of these more often. So Maria. Childhood friend, delinquent, neighbor. Appearance, cute, personality, questionable. That covered all the personal data I had on Rhea. I really shouldn't say this, but she was a niffy person to fall for. For sure. She was cute, though. I can fix her. But she was also violent, disorderly, had a foul mouth, and cynical. The cynical part applied equally to me, so there was no helping that. Are you sure about that? But from a womanly standpoint, there was nothing to compliment but her looks. I bet nobody but me would fall for her. So it was a Soma Kun supporter for that matter. Why well, had I fallen in love with her? Just maybe. Mm -hmm. Our childhood really was the blame? I don't know, fam. I don't know. Yeah? Well, where did this come from? But like, hey, she is crazy kid, I guess. But if I had a guess, she probably likes you, Soma. Dang, you're so lucky. You made it sound like Sylvie's in charge of taking care of you an awful lot. Why don't you come to me? Gender? <laughs> Fine then, I won't give up. If I told her I like her, I wonder if I could give her a smooch. Like, you know, foreigners in movies are quick to get out smooches, right? <laughs> Help me out too, Soma. You aren't interested in Sylvie anyway. Well then, talk me up to Sylvie, wouldn't you? She'd be happy if it came from you. Eh... It's okay, right? I'm begging you. Please, please. <sighs> Alright, he said. I wish I hadn't remembered this after I fell in love with it. Ah, oh, I was so lame as a kid. But no matter when my memory came back to me, Rhea was quite different from who she was way in the past. She was meek, kind, and with zero delinquent qualities. What could have happened in these past 10 years? That also piqued my curiosity. But I knew plain as day, no matter how cynical she may be now, just how kind and wonderful a person she was. That portion of her remained to this day. So once my emotions were kicked into gear, I began falling for her more with every passing moment. Tough spot to be in, huh? Knock, knock. I went to visit Rio so we could talk about what happened yesterday. But since she pretended to be out, there were signs she was around though. Rhea. She refused to open the door. Sigh. When I tried her cell, she screened my call the first time, then shut it off the second call onward. It would be tough for me to go see her now that things have turned out this way. Even though she was right next door. Ah, uh, inside I have the frozen meals I got from Rio for lunch that afternoon. The selection was random enough with pilaf, pizza, pizza, and what have you. What? Wait, what?
pizza and what have you. What? Okay. It was surprisingly delicious, just as she said. She you really couldn't make light of the latest selections they had out. Despite everything, none of it impressed me as much as the fried onigiri from yesterday. Oh no, Dokkaikun? Yeah. Say, do you know any sort of shop around here that has decent frozen food options? Mm, Think very hard, please. Sorry to have you tag along with me. It's nothing like that. I'd like to get a nice assortment together so that I'd have them on hand the next time I ate with it. Those frozen meals hadn't been awful, but they could begin. They couldn't begin to hold up to the experience of eating them together with her. I took my sweet time filling up, then making my way home with bags full of frozen meals. When? Uh, I saw Ryo talking to Jogosaki about something. I tried to call out to her, but... Duh. She ran off. Dang it. It's nothing like that, actually. Uh, yeah. It wouldn't bug me if it were a fight, but if I gave her space now, she was liable to turn headstrong. My only real option was to force myself into their conversation. Oh boy, this is gonna go very nicely. <笑>今のあなたを演出するのにどれだけ苦労したか頼んでねえだろ勝手にネットに上げたり勝手にお田姫がどうこう言い出したりふん謝る必要性は感じないわねまあおかげで誰かさんのピアノに名前負けしないから
I would have no lingering attachment to that golden color. Not if those two could be happy. Hmm? Ah, please don't say things like that, Zoe. I'm scared. I'm terrified. I'm, terri I'm terrified of returning to the darkness. I beg you, Zoe. Please don't pray for that outcome. I'm happy now. I'm happy how things are. Oh, are you sure? Please. Don't love me any more than this. Oh, questions, questions, questions. Well, this is a good time to save. Uh, I don't know what to say. This episode was definitely, it felt more chill than the last one. The last one was just Rio being kind of mean for no reason. Well, for some reason, right? But I felt like it was a little exaggerated of a reaction, making Mina Chan cry and stuff. Like that was so unnecessary. But I wasn't expecting for them to just kiss like that. Like I was like, huh, huh, huh. I was kind of op very open to the idea of all of them just staying homies. But also, also, who's to say in this route, it doesn't end up being like a whole love triangle like how it was in Reina's route, where Odo <laughs> got to mess around with Ayaka and Reina. What if it's like that in this route too? I don't know. Would I be disappointed? Definitely not. But also, I feel like Rhea does deserve like her own story with the main character. Just as Sylvie did. Just as Reyna, Ella, and so forth. And so on and so forth. But I wouldn't be opposed to the whole three thing. That'd be very interesting. <laughs> That'd be very interesting. But there's still a lot of questions with Rhea. Like why she became the delinquent she is. What had happened with the whole Mina thing. Why she reacted the way she did. Because that was a little extreme of a reaction, you know? <laughs> and so we just being so like, oh, well, it's not a big deal, pretty much, you know? Instead of being like, hey, Rhea, like, maybe that was a little too far, you know? But, yeah, just questions, questions. And I'm sure, and hopefully, they'll get answered. What I really like about these, the concept of these visual novels where there's alternate timelines or alternate endings is that you kind of find out a little more about every character. Oh almost every character so like for example in sylvia's route we didn't know much about ele but in ele's route we find out quite a bit about ele and we also find out that ele and sylvia are actually blood related sisters or in reina's route you know we we saw ayaka and Oro being more comfortable with each other enough to do butt stuff you know just little stuff like that and not very little but stuff like that where you find out things about certain characters in different routes and i just find that so very interesting so by the time you finish the entire game hopefully you'll have an understanding of all the characters and stuff and it's just very very fun to see very very entertaining too but with that being said i'm gonna wrap it up here i try to minimize the yapping but sometimes i just i just have to i just have to for like 10 minutes 5 10 minutes and if you stick around i do appreciate it and if you don't, I don't blame you. Anyways, I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you so much for watching this episode. If you did enjoy, please hit that like, subscribe if you haven't done so. And if you want to see more games like these or something completely different, hold on to the suggestions, please. Don't forget them because as soon as we're done with Cafe Stella and this game, I'm going to need some suggestions. And of course, we're going to do the whole King Koi Golden Time, which is the second game of this game, you know, continuation of those routes. We're going to do it eventually, of course, but obviously... I would like a little break before we get there, right? And I'm sure y'all would understand. And if not, sorry, not sorry. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll let y'all go. Y'all stay safe. And as always, until next time, guys.